Hi everyone, my name is Ross Bagertis and welcome to my course, Network Services. I'm a network engineer with 20 years experience building and managing enterprise networks and teaching people about them. As you have seen throughout this series, there are a tremendous number of protocols used to build a network. And most of these protocols are required simply to allow the network to pass traffic. However, in order for an engineer to maintain a quality and highly available network, we need additional protocols to help manage the network itself. In this course, we will examine hot standby router protocol, quality of service, authentication, authorization, and accounting, software-defined networking, simple network management protocol, and IP service level agreements. By the end of this course, you will be able to implement a redundant default gateway using HSRP, create an IP SLA ICMP policy, and understand how Cisco has implemented software-defined networking. Before beginning the course, you should be familiar with the information provided in the previous CCNA Learning Path series of courses. Since this is the last course of new content for the CCNA, you should feel comfortable moving on to CCNA Troubleshooting and Review course for the CCNA 200-125 exam. I hope you'll join me on this journey to learn about protocols used to manage the network with the Network Services course at Pluralsight.